Alright you guys, what's up? Welcome back! Cyberpunk! Here in our third episode. We're getting ready to go in and talk to, uh... Talk to one of our contacts. We got a big mission to do. And we had to wait around this bar. Meantime, I went down the street a couple places and rousted some some gang members and things, so... 6.30. It's time to go in. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a pre BD? Uh, brain dance? What's good? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. So you really know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? No. Uh, another time. You know what? Maybe another time. Sure thing, stud. I wonder if it's... I wonder if I have to do this brain dance. I do, to get in. Oh, jeez, you guys. Reconsidered, huh? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. <laughs> Have fun, input. Ooh. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, uh, what a sweet little face you have. How you doing? Are you eating chips? All right, let's find our contact. Hopefully I don't have to do a brain dance right now. All right, so sit at the bar and ask about yeah, Evelyn. No surprise there. What's going on in here? I'm going to check it out, see what's going on at least. What's this? I have one again. Okay. Okay. Tell me about it. Oh. Hey. Where's Evelyn? Get you something. Uh Does Lizzie still work here? So curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of his place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Oh. Till? Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Nice. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. And biz booms to this day. Well, I was taking care of those dudes outside anyway, so they won't be bothering anybody. Looking for Evelyn. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. A big tipper. A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Oh, okay. Hi. How you doing? Oh. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Did you? Hmm. Drink tequila of choice. Since on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything oh, I'm about feeling the people drunk. I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. 
Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. Hmm. But not here. Come with me. Oh, not the super secret room. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Ooh, new shards. So, Salvo J. McCallum. Nothing's wrong. Really? Like me. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. What? What do you got for me, lady? Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Uh, don't know him well, haven't worked it. Let's just cut the chase. I'm the best. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? No. Uh... Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. What? Another kind? Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? What do you got? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Ooh. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Uh, out of my price range. Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. What? Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Okay. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. Ouch. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Oh, it's a Look, setup. If you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Darn. Yuri Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. 
aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Uh... Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Hey, Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Uh... One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Well, that's Just true. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Hmm. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. Right, who's your you daddy? Plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. A gun? Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. Brain How's dance? a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. What? No. It can be a very useful tool. Would you good for like anything else? analyzing mm -hmm. details, human yeah, perception, yeah, even yeah. boosted. Doesn't grasp. I don't know exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? All right, Mom. Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll oh, need to locate the yes. relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. It means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. Ah. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. All right, it's gonna be Judy our, will help. Our She's first a mox brain too. Dance. Besides, we go back uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to what? forget. So to you'll be a good boy. Sure, okay? Tread lightly. Yeah, yeah, and keep yeah, yeah. that tongue right, on the all leash. Right, all right. Oh. Legs. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. What's she doing? She's doing a brain dance right now. Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Hey, Judy. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BD yet? What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. Yeah, that's so, what's most let's important. let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Hmm. <laughs> 
Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometime. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? No, I haven't. Uh... Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. All right. Follow mission. Oh, look at them steel toe boots I'm wearing. I hope there's not nudity in this. I've been trying to avoid it. <laughs> Gotta create your sensory profile first. All right, profile away. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't, not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Oh, we're gonna have to calibrate each time? Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Okay. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Yep. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Okay, so we're in Plan the brain. simple. Dance. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Thug. Down, everybody! On the ground! I want to see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I he swear is, to God! This is the second Whoa. time he yeah. uh, uh, charges his gun. Before I blow your fucking head off! Oh, grab the Rubik's Cube. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. All right, could have warned me. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Okay. Think of it as your own little sandbox. Wee. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Okay. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. 
You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Okay. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Can I, can I? All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Let me create it. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus okay. on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. What? Play the recording until you get the gun, as you spot the gun, okay? Plan simple. So I gotta watch for heat. Hot. Don't get creative. You go in, set it up, and sell me the studio. And everything on full blast. That's why I can't remember what you're gonna hide. Okay, right here. Okay. Indicates selected layer, visual, thermal, and sound layer. All right, so bold sections of the track, scannable clue. Okay, up there, I see that clues may overlap. All right. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. Okay. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. All right, over here. Pack of cigs, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors, Cody and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. All right, switch to visual. Sometimes way. you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hella nice. Hella. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the floor, buddy? Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa, hit them now! Who shoots him? See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Oh. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. All right, so that was interesting. I guess we're gonna have to use this tech to figure things out in that hotel room that we're going to, right? Yeah. Impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, flogging you ready to do this? Look at your wreck. No way. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when. Oh, yeah.
out. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here. What well, I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Judy, Judy, Judy. <sighs> fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kanpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kanpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Nope. Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire Dang, up, dude, they're dude. hacking into my brain. All these ladies looking at my brain. Alright, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. All right, so examine the brain dance in analysis mode, find the relic. All right, so there's something going on right now in this layer. Is this Evelyn? Okay. <laughs> All right, so this guy is a military grade cyberware. 96% modifications, extreme danger. Uh, if he's in there where I have to go, that's going to be bad. Shit, camera's packed with new tech motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Okay, nothing on the audio track. Just this guy. I guess he's scanned already. Let's see what else is in here. Alarm firmware is fresh, but... Saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling through this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Oh. All right, let's keep playing. Are you? I said no. Yep. Talking I have to his daddy. for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. All right. So, left shift down to here. Finish. We shall see soon enough. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. 
He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks My father's involved. a tired, visionless old greybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny, frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Savaroy is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. I have to stay Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. In a Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look okay. for me. Alright, so in the visual layer, scan the data pad. Okay, so we go back to visual layer. Where's his data pad at? Is that the thing in his hand? Visual air scan his data pad while it's turned on. All right, so I have to rewind. Is it the thing in his hand? That's his phone. All right. Scan the apartment security systems optional. I already did that. I'm going to rewind and see if maybe... We go back to his data pad somewhere. Is that his data pad over there? This is the data pad up here. She's over there. There's his data pad. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. That's his data pad there. That's not scannable. What's his phone? Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an something else up there. Idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, uh, this data pad like is at this. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Okay, so thermal layer is now unlocked to switch between layers. There's the thermal layer, okay. What's this? Scan thermal clues to find the relic. All right, uh, those are the lights. Maybe in the kitchen. See, I might if I go too far from her, I'll probably have to rewind and get her. Yeah, we'll have to get her back out here. Looking for thermal clues. So the, right now, these are those two things. So we're gonna have to rewind. Get her back out there. Ah, uh, you'll like this. 
Um, what was it to go all the way back to the beginning, R? Walking over here. Then you shall perish for a good cause. Who's this? Where's this freezer at? Is there a second floor in here? Something up here. Alright, she's gonna walk over to this bar. But make yourself comfortable. I hey, what's that? Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. You really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. In a minute to finish. The get her over here and check this area. You cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Right there. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Right? How about up there? You'll live forever. Those are lights. Huh. Okay. Maybe it's over there in that door. In his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Now the relic requires specific storage conditions. You must know them. Enough. Sorry to make it. Maybe she's standing over there. What's in here? Dang, where's this thing at? So I found two things to scan. Hmm. this it's a gun all right we found a gun hmm where is this thing I was doing pretty good going back and forth, I thought. Found the gun in here. Is this thing this thing scanned? Loaded. Rescan that. So that's when that appeared. I'm looking at the thermal thing. So scan for thermal clues to find the relic. I don't see anything else. Oh, what's that? Oh my god, I didn't see that. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. Well, shoot. I thought I had it that time. Maybe it's in there. Let's get her back in here. What there is nothing in here. You don't like this.
don't see anything in here. That, uh, this thing's still acting like I haven't scanned it. Yeah, scan results. It says that. So, where the heck could this thing be? They made this difficult, man. It's like you have to be in the right place at the right time for the thing to appear like that, like that. You have to keep rewinding and fast forwarding, I guess. And look around. Because you can only go so far from her because that's who's... We're gonna have to go back over into there, I guess. about on this guy? It's the elevator. Alright, so when she's all the way over here... It's not on him. Are you? Because I didn't get the thermal until we came all the way in. I said no. There's nothing over here. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please. Right there. Hidden safe. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Found it. Your has got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Job done. That was hard to find. That was hard to find. Get everything you need? <laughs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I wiped the cache on your data. You were never here. Quit hacking my brain. Maybe she might like to hang out a little bit. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Oh. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Hey. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. Is that a fire truck no on her chest? Shortcuts. You go that route. City will always win. So be <laughs> Looks careful. like a fire truck. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. You think Judy might want to go out and have a drink? She's kind of hot. Judy, we'll go have a drink. Thanks, Judy. Really. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I don't think she likes me. <laughs> no response, man. V, let's walk. Let's walk. At least I didn't have to have cyber sex or something. Well, what do you think? Of what? Uh, connection to I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like Pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. You know who she looks like? She looks like the hooker from... The second Blade Runner. The latest Blade Runner, well, right? What do you think? Well, that's who she is. You sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if 
Some suspicion takes root in his mind. It shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? I guess. You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Hmm. Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. Winds are right. The plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Oh. Uh. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V? Hmm? I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now Should go. I have accepted that need or? Need a few words with Judy. I don't know. I don't think I should have accepted it. I gotta try and trust Dex, even though he's probably. Yeah. I How said things I looking, you. Mr. V? I didn't. You do the math. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T Bug says no chance of that ship without that bot. To work then, Mr. V. Yeah. Mm. All right, job complete. The pickup. Call uh -oh. Miltech agent Meredith Stout. Optional. Meet with Jackie. Jackie Wells. Hola. Uh -huh. How's it going? Uh, good. Met with the client. Played me a BD. Supposed to visit BD, huh? I. Just keep me posted, okay? Jackie Wells. So we gotta get out of here. 4 a.m. last night, Gina and me sitting at the Let's bar. See what's going on in here. And she's rattling on about the bank stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So call Miltech agent Meredith Stout. Actually, when I first did this, I thought I was meeting with her. Uh, not Evelyn. Hey. My, what a sweet little Shut up. I'm. Open this stupid Going door. Going in or stand out? No, I'm leaving. I think. All right, so we could call Miltech agent. We should probably call Miltech agent. Uh, how do I call her? All right, so we can. We got one and one. We let's see. I got one uh, perk attribute, or one perk that I added into i think annihilation yeah i did this one look at this in your face reduces reload time of shotguns and light machine guns and then this one reduces recoil I think i'll do that there and i'll give myself some more tech ability there all right go in our journal so the pickup the dangerous moderate call mill tech agent that's optional and we're supposed to meet with Jackie so if I hold T that's usually my, how I call things Meredith Stout there we go Stout here 
Start by telling me how you got this number. Shut up. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Is her cigarette floating in the air? Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Let's meet and cut a deal. Nuh-uh. Not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Roger that. All right, we got that. So it's optional to meet with her, and I think we should, right? How far is this? 550 meters? All right. It's hella good. Confirm. There's my car. Oh, jeez. Self-drive is like me driving. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, what's this going on here? Something going on here. This star thingy, you see that? You guys never get bored, do you? Maybe it's a wanted person. Tiger at Tiger Claws wanted. So it's like a Let's test, let's test something out here. Police introduction. Any illegal activity such as theft, attacking civilians result, putting a bounty on me? No, those were Tiger Claw people. Those were tiger claw people. Oh, I'm in trouble. Right? I was I was helping that civilian. I was helping the civilian. Don't call the cops. Look at this lady here. Are you okay? Got some street cred. Yeah. Yeah, see? Oh. Maybe the cops will come here and know that I, I stopped this. Oh, they messed up my car! Alright, let's get out of here before the cops get here. Dude, my car's gonna explode. Do I have to pay pay attention to trap? Sorry. Now my car's really gonna explode. This guy's dry like you're not in any hurry, are you? The driving's actually kind of fun. You can go to third person, but what fun is that? I might do that. Because I can't see anything. What driving around though you could hey lady what's up say girl what are you doing all right there's a fast travel station there i'm, I'm watching the mini map as i drive i'm not really watching the road who needs to watch the road jeez my car is definitely gonna explode Whoa, super secret meeting place. Look at this place. I don't think anybody comes down here. Okay, I better get out before my car explodes. It's on fire. Look lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, Meredith. Nice. Nice to meet you. Oh, wait, I didn't get my... What? Oh, no! I was gonna shake her hand! You could blackmail me, fucker! Set 
conditions? Hey, just come here a little closer. Got any more for me? Let me go! Oh, they're gonna... Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yes. Yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Oh, you don't believe me? Now listen. Oh, look at that bot. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? No. Don't know. That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not Shut the Shut up! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> him, you can let go. Want to hear what you. he has to say. All right. Nomad, your convoy security's a mess. I can help. What is that one? What is this? You know, I could help patch the gaps in your convoy security. Prevent a repeat of this fiasco. Nope, not interested. Let's hear your offer. I don't have all day. Dang. I, I need a bot. That nomad one. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Oh. Alright. Hook me up. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Alright, so some shards you find in the world will contain information hidden behind data encryption measures. To decrypt a shard, I think I sharded. First, either open it in the notification when you acquire it or find it later in shards tab job, okay? Then crack security. Roger that. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Crack security. All right, so 55 BD. 1 C BD. Did I mess that up? What? Alright, I messed that up. Try to fuck me in any way. Yeah, and I'll be seeing wrong. you real soon. I didn't get a chance to talk to her. The cook's already good as dead! Hey, where'd my car go? Alright. There it is. Saying I can go up this way. Dang, dude. So there is something to that encrypting. It's not just hitting the buttons like I was doing. Obviously, you have to kind of look it over. So next time. Now, it said I could possibly go into the journal. Wait, there was another journal. Shards. Excerpt a history of nomads by BB. The day the tower fell. Oh, it doesn't look like you can scan it from here. All right. All right, so I'm going to make my way over here, wherever here is. This looks like a rough part of the neighborhood. What? All right, I just threw a grenade by accident. I don't like where she left me. Where are we in the big map? Oh, look at this. We're like, we're like in the nasty area. My vehicle's hella fine. Hella. Its brand is hella. See, sometimes it'd be easier just to run. What's Jackie doing here of all places? He's on a uh, motorcycle. There you are. 
Let me hear what you squared away. Uh, we gotta meet him. Then an arch? Oh, damn. What it's a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Dorset job dividend. Hmm. Don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. Okay. I'd swap that tailpipe if I were you. I'd swap out that tailpipe if I were you. Really? Why? It's got a mean growl that the chicas just love. The chicas! What that growl does is tell people a mile out that Jackie's rumbling their way. I'd tinker with the fuel injection too. Upload a new map and slap on some thermal tape till you cobble together enough eddies to get that exhaust modded. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's the word on T-Bug? T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date and fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Uh, let's see. Doubt this will go smoothly. We'll pay again with the Miltech cred. Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. We'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Yeah, I need a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, tell me when you're good and steeled. All right, so we're gonna take a break here, you guys. That's another hour. Pretty cool. You really have to listen to it, though. Like, you, you can't just run, you don't want to run through it. You want to listen to these conversations. You want to get involved and see what's going on. I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys are, too. You guys join me in the next episode.